Hello. Our today's topic is Latent Heat of Fusion. So let's get started. What is Latent Heat of Fusion? Here. Latent means hidden. The thing that is hidden from us. Fusion means melting. When a substance is changed from solid to liquid state, it is called melting. When a liquid state is changed to gas, it is called boiling or evaporation. When a substance is changed from gas to again liquid, it is called condensation. And when a substance is changed from liquid to solid state, it is called freezing. Latent heat of fusion is the energy required to change unit mass of a substance from solid to liquid at its melting point without change in its temperature. When we change a state from solid to liquid at melting point, heat energy is required without changing that temperature. That process is hidden. We call that process as latent heat of fusion. We shall discuss this in detail with this experiment. For this experiment we require ice cube, beaker, thermometer, stirrer, a stand with a clamp, wire gauze, tripod stand, Bunsen burner. Take some ice cubes in a beaker. Place the beaker on wire gloss kept at over tripod stand. And insert a stirrer into the beaker. Take a thermometer and suspend it with the help of the clamp stand. So that its bulb remains in the middle of the ice cubes. Heat the ice cubes in a moderate temperature using a Bunsen burner. And stir continuously to keep a moderate temperature throughout. During the experiment we noticed all the steps. We conclude. When the ice heat at 0 degrees. It requires 3.6 minutes which is TF. When the temperature rises from 0 to 100. It takes 4.6 minutes. The specific heat capacity of water is. 4,200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Ice changes to water at 0 degrees Celsius. After 0 degrees it goes to boiling. And the water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. Which is converted to Kelvin and becomes 100 Kelvin because 1 Kelvin is equal to 1 degree Celsius for change into water ice requires heat the heat which is required to change ice to water is Delta Q formula of Delta Q is mass multiply specific heat capacity multiply change in temperature we put the values of M and C we get M into 420,000 joules per kilogram. This is the graph of our experiment from the previous calculations. We get TF equals 3.6 minutes. T naught equals 4.6 minutes. Change in heat equals M into 420,000 joules per kilogram. Change in temperature equals 100 Kelvin. I bought 10 pencils yesterday. Which costs $10. My friend asked me price of one pencil. But I was unable to tell her. 
How do I calculate the price of one pencil? Then my friend told me that if I have 10 pencils which cost 10, then by dividing 10 over 10 I will calculate the price of one. But what I do if I had to find the price of 5? I simply multiply 5 by the price of 1. If the rate of heat absorbing in 1 Kelvin is delta Q over T naught. Now then using this example of pencils, rate of heat absorbing in time Tf is delta Q into Tf over T naught. Change in heat of fusion is equal to mass multiply latent heat of fusion, which is Hf. After putting the values we get this. We cut M on both sides. And our required answer is 3.29 multiply 10 raised to power 5. The answer you seeing on the screen is 328,695.652 joules per kilogram. That's the value for which we were doing this. Now we will summarize the whole lecture. I know you guys are fed up but don't worry. We will now summarize this whole topic. When the ice starts melting from minus 30 to zero, firstly ice absorb more heat, but will not start melting. When the ice temperature goes to zero, it will stop heat absorbing. Now at this time it will start changing its state. Ice melts to water. When the state change, now water's temperature start rising, and it will start absorbing heat once again. When reaching 100 it stops heat absorbing, and converts to gas. Remember when the ice was absorbing heat during minus 30 to zero? We saw deflection on thermometer. But when it reaches zero degree Celsius, we did not see any deflection on thermometer. At this point I am thinking that this process is hidden. Thus we may call this latent heat of fusion. On moving to 100 degrees Celsius, thermometer again shows deflection. But while reaching 100 again the process is hidden. We will discuss it in the next lesson. Thus we conclude that at zero degree while the ice is changing its state this is called latent heat of fusion and the latent heat of fusion of ice is 3.36 multiply 10 raised to power 5 joules per kilogram. So that was our today's lecture. I hope you understand. If you feel any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get the notification of our upcoming videos. Bye.